coming. Oh, it's dead. I feel like I'm fire. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey! Come get me, I quit. G'day YouTube, this is Mop from the Black Collar Project. I'm at Searchlight Cemetery in Searchlight, Nevada. I'm here with Web702. Hey, what's up folks? Yeah, I bet you're wondering what these are for, huh? And not kinky. Yeah, he's got a fetish. Make sure you subscribe to this bloke. We're gonna do something later on in the video with Jeremy, he's our empath. He's very sensitive and uh, yeah, he, he calls himself the graveyard master. We'll soon find out. Uh, back in 1961, a plane had crashed here, dispersing a lot of the bodies. There's a runway just south of us here and uh, it, it actually landed in and crashed and killed the uh, pilot on impact. And a lot of the bodies were uh, relocated here. So the locals have seen an apparition of a miner getting around, um, a man dressed in Victorian outfit. They say he may be George Colton. Uh, he's the guy that discovered this town uh, for gold. And uh, they've heard also moaning coming from the cemetery at night. Pretty freaky, hey? So we're going to see what we can find. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates. And let's get this video to 50 likes. Hit that like down the bottom for me, guys. Let's rock and roll. George Frederick Colton discovered gold in Searchlight in 1897. By 1898, the town of Searchlight had settled and a new mining district was born. Searchlight's heyday was the period between 1907 and 1910 when the mines produced more than $7 million in gold and the town had a population of around 1,500. The last gold mines in the area closed around 1953. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm with Jeremy tonight and uh, you would have seen him in the last video, the chloride video. And uh, he's the graveyard master. He's also an empath. He's very sensitive. You've had a few experiences yourself, haven't you, throughout yes, your life? Yes, sir. This man's seen a lot. We're going to cruise around in this cemetery with him. We're going to do something extra special to you later on, mate. You ready for it? Yes, sir. Let's bring it on, buddy. What we are looking for, basically, is George Colton. He was the guy that was uh, in charge of all the mining here. He discovered gold here. And they said that you needed a searchlight to find gold. And he found gold, and he found quite a lot of it. So he was the man, and he's said to be seen here. Look at this beautiful angel here. Rest in peace, Tyler Austin Myers. God bless you. Now they said they also see a miner here as well. He's got the old miner hat on. He's got the little light on his head. People see that little light. There's a lot of bugs around today, a lot of moths. This is about, I'd say, 90 minutes from Las Vegas. And it's a mixture of old and new graves. It's got quite a lot of character about it as well. The locals come in here and they maintain it quite well. There's a lot of rocks here that they've uh, colored and there's a lot of quartz. I think marble and uh, glass rocks that they put on the graves just for a bit of decoration. George, are you here? We want to try to communicate with George. We don't know the miner's name, but we do know George Colton. Who's going through my body right now? Who's making my head dizzy and body cold? Did you move that tin and put that there? George, did you move this? Did you move this tin? That wasn't there before. George, are you playing games? Let's leave it there and see if he moves it again. I heard a, a, like a um, like a, a metallic sound, not the flag, but I heard a metallic sound not too long ago. Just wondering what uh, that was. So I wonder if that's what that was. Well, the wind isn't that strong to be yeah, blowing no, that right now. You can see the the tree, and then the flag, Paul. It's slightly. You just said your name. Did it? Yeah, it just said mop. We're right next to this baby's grave right here. You just said baby, and it was a baby. Guys, this is the unmarked grave section. Is there a miner in here that haunts this cemetery? Where's the miner? You spook the locals when they're in here. What's that all about? They say that the locals do hear a lot of moaning coming from the cemetery on just certain nights at any time. And guys, I'm, I'm shit you not, the moaning is that loud where they actually will come down and there's nothing here. Nothing. This is where it's said to come before with the lock. Harton, were you trying to get us over here before? That um, crucifix is on its side there. Yep. Alright. Dude, is that someone standing right there? You know that fenced off one with a seat in it? Dude, yeah, and that honestly, it looks yeah. like someone is. Nothing's really overwhelming in terms of like bad energy in here. It's very yeah. peaceful. I swear there was someone standing. There's, this yeah. is the, no. This is where I saw. This the is apparition. where you got the apparition. 
Well, I'm getting cold now. I see someone standing in here. This is Collins. Um, guys, last time, um, Webb was here, Web 72. He caught an apparition. And, uh, I really do hope he puts that video up for you guys. Because it was pretty compelling. George Collins, if you're here, can you please come to me and speak to me? Let me know you're here. Speak to me through this spirit box right here that I have. You could use my energy. You can make yourself known. If there's any other spirits who could come near me. Jeremy. Yeah. There's something on the perimeter. I'm gonna say an animal. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm going daddy. Because that's the first Daddy? Huh? This said daddy. Your spirit box didn't say daddy. One, one of them could be. Jeremy's sitting here in the colon section where we saw that figure, or I saw that figure. This is a infant's grave, 1917. This is where Webb... Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Well, what would you like me to demonstrate? Would you like Jeremy to do something in there for you? I think they're, they're around you, Jeremy. They are, because I'm getting really cold and goosebumps right now. Jeremy, I swear, mate. I swear there's something on the perimeter that is keeps on walking around the cemetery. Lucy. Lucy's right here? Lucy, is that you playing games? I just heard a footsteps right here when it said Lucy. Really? Yeah, it was not his and it was not yours. It was right here, I heard a footsteps. Lucy, why are you coming up on Jeremy like that? And I just got the chill. You can go and give him oh, a hug. Oh, my ears are ringing. My left ear is ringing. Why don't you go and give Jeremy a hug? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something that tugged necklace the... was moving. Huh? Something freaking... It tugged the... Bro. That, neck, that, neck, huh? that necklace is moving. And when you did that, the I heard The necklace a... is moving? What? I heard a whoosh when you did that. Oh, are you talking about that one on the L there? Yeah, that's L moving. for Lucy. Dude, something tugged me like it was a little child and tugged like that. Katie. Katie. Oh, Katie. Katie. Say, maybe that's what it, it was. It did say, Katie. Katie, Katie, are you here? Move that necklace if you're here. Oh, there's a necklace there. Dude, something pulled the, the tug the back of my shirt. Like it was a little kid like saying, hey. I wonder if that's it, what it was. It made me jump. It, it made me jump. The side of me. All right. Did you say you got tugged before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or like, poked or something? Maybe, no, it, it felt like something was going like this, but maybe it was trying to pull on my shirt, but just grab my that's little bit That's the child grave there. right there, but it's an infant. Invoke, invoke. 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 Lucy. Of course. Lucy, you came up to me and you were pulling the back of my shirt. You made that uh, necklace move as well. No, it's not moving. That was weird. It made me jump out of that chair. She's coming. Oh, it's just... Dude, that said she's coming. Yeah. Who's coming? Lucy, are you coming? And your car over there, Wait, man. Did you yeah. Say you're getting cold? yeah. I'm getting yeah. goosebumps cold like someone touched me. She's coming. She's come. Lucy, come. We want to oh, see did you. Did you hear that? Did that just say babe? Yeah. That said baby. Did you Who's hear babe? Yeah, there was something. Was that a dog? It was like, Hoo. who's baby? Like, who? There's a baby grave over here. Jeremy, there's a baby grave over there. We were just at the baby grave. And it's calling us to go back. <sighs> see? Shit. No, but there's one over here, isn't there, as well? Jeremy. So well, what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? That was me because it went through my body. No, 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 no. It was not that sigh no, noise. That was like a female. It was like, <laughs> hey, Lucy, is that you? Maybe there's a, a what was that? Collect. What did it say? Collect. Collect. Have a look at this grave here. Look at this beautiful grave that's got Tin Man. What happened here in 1961? What the fuck was that? George, you messing around here? Spirit. It said spirit. I feel like I'm burning. I feel like I'm fire. Like here, it's ridiculous. It's like I'm in a furnace. You need to come in here. This is where the plane crash was. This is where the plane crash was, man. The guys were standing in the middle of where the plane crashed. The exact spot where the plane crashed, Jeremy. Just sent close your eyes back in 1961 to kill the pilot and it disrupted all the graves here. Could you imagine all the human remains and everything that was displaced? Screaming, crying, yelling. They were disturbed. They still are. 
They're restless. So you could come to us. You could enter our bodies. We're here. What do you have to say to us? Hello. How are you feeling, Jeremy? It feels like someone's watching us right now. You see all these are not graves. Nobody knows who they are. Well, they don't know for sure. They have got the names on the plaque over there. They, don't, they wouldn't have any idea. You can think the impact of uh, the plane. Basically what happened is there were bones everywhere. So they don't know who's who. Is George here with me right now? George. You made a lot of money in these mines. Why are you still haunting this cemetery? George, are you here? Are you any other spirits? Jeremy, I think it's time to do what we come here to do. Jeremy, yeah. I'm going to leave you by yourself for a bit, mate. Right, Anything bro, you I'm hear on. or experience or feel, you're handcuffed up to the pole. You're right where the plane crashed. All these bodies were brought up from the crash. The pilot died on impact, and you've got your feet shackled and your hands handcuffed to the pole. You can't run, you can't hide. Try to get away. Can you move? No. And you're blindfolded. We're gonna leave you, mate. Good luck. Let me know if you uh, if you need to come out, but it's just you in this cemetery, brother. I'm gonna use this one, and it's used to summon the spirits. Oh, my right eye. Sounds like they're laughing. Something just touched my fucking hands. Seriously, they're like really playing with me right now. Alright, that one just got freaky as fuck. Big old scrapple to my right. Like major loud. Like coming up fast. I don't know what it is. Like seriously. Who threw that rock? What the fuck? All right, I ain't playing now. Fuck that shit. I'm. Nope. I don't know. Nope. 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 Hell no. Nah. All right, my mouth is watering. My nose is running. Got tears coming out of my eyes. All right, I can't take this no more. Fuck this. Ah. Uh, it feels like something heavy is watching me. Huh? Oh hell no, nah. fuck that shit. Fuck. Hell no, nah. fuck that. Now I can't see, it feels like they're poking my eyes out. Fuck you. What the fuck? Hell no. Hell no. Alright, whatever that noise is, I'm done. Whatever that noise is, I'm done. I quit. Before I break my wrist. Hell no. Stay the fuck away, dog. Alright, there's a dog right here next to me, and I'm serious. That's not a good sign. Hell no. Alright, I give up. It's like looking at me and staring at me, like growling. Fuck you, dog. There really is a dog right here. Ah. Fuck you, piece of shit. Alright. There's a footsteps coming. Footsteps and something right behind me. It's really fucking heavy. What the fuck? Oh, fuck you. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. I'm for reals. There's another rock this guy throwing at me. Quick. I'm fucking for reals. Hey! Come get me, I quit. I'm for real, that shit almost hit my fucking head. What was going on? Fucking sadness and the fucking, the dog was fucking right here and the fucking. We ran because we heard you were freaking out a little bit, so. If we were real pricks, we could just leave you right now. I get that shit. That's why I was like, oh, come get me. Please don't fucking leave me here. But yeah, guys, if you can give it a go, why not? Give it a go. Tie your friend up. If they're an empath, put them in a cemetery or somewhere really haunted. My mouth. See what they feel. I'll be doing it in Where'd the Where'd that rock go? Herb, be Herb will be future. doing it as well. Look at his eyes. That's insane. Besides the... Your eyes are like crying. Well, you know what? Wait, I forgot the key. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that sort of content here at Searchlight Cemetery in Searchlight, Nevada. That was pretty cool there, what we did with Jeremy at the end there. So guys, if you're game, give it a go. We're gonna do it a little bit more often. We haven't named the challenge yet, but uh, maybe you guys can put in the comment section what it should be named. Something challenge, who knows, whatever. But we'll think of something maybe. Guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates. Let's get it to 50 likes this video. And we don't know where we're gonna be next, but you'll find out soon. Cheers, dingoes.